rolling action. Okay, I just did a talk about the importance of church unity. So I'm going to follow that up by talking about things that Catholics can learn from Protestants and Protestants can learn from Catholics and that these are things that whether you're a Protestant or a Catholic you can do right now there's no need to wait these are things that you can learn and put into practice right this second so one thing that Catholics can learn from Protestants is to do deeper biblical sermons at the Sunday worship, at the Sunday gathering. So many times I've walked into a Catholic church and the sermon given by the priest is a trivial, wet, weak, non-inspiring lecture that neither edifies nor encourages. By comparison, I've walked in, into many a Protestant church and found deep, rich, intensely biblical sermons that increase my knowledge and inspire my heart to continue in my discipleship with the Lord. So Catholics, you can learn from Protestants about giving better sermons at church. One thing that Protestants can learn from Catholics is the discourse of interior spirituality. Amongst Catholics, especially those who are really going for it, there is an intelligent, intellectually and emotionally, discourse about the interior uh, of, uh, of spirituality, the interior spirituality, that advances individual Catholics in their walk in faith. By comparison, when we look at Protestant churches, though the substance of their sermons is better, their culture of discussing the interior uh, spirituality is nowhere near as profound, nowhere near as learned. And I think that is partly because they don't seek to capture those who have pushed into spirituality in the same way that Roman Catholics do, like the spirituality of Ignatius of Loyola. You don't find that within Protestant circles. They'll celebrate Billy Graham, but they don't delve into, and neither did Billy Graham, sort of articulate a clear spirituality to follow. And I think that's something that Protestants can learn from Catholics. Another thing that Catholics could learn from Protestants today is the idea of the use of modern music in worship. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a liturgical worshipper. I love liturgy. I love classical music. I love organs. I love choirs. That's my go-to thing. But the reality is that very few churches do that well. And lots of churches do it very badly. Whereas if you look at modern music and the way that the human psyche is, Modern music is more emotive to us in the way that it works, in the rhythms and the sounds. And there's nothing wrong with using modern uh, secular music in worship. And I think the Catholic Church could use that as a way of profoundly uh, impacting people in their spiritual worship. People want that because the old styles of music are often too high. They're, they're designed for um, professional choirs in the days when professional choirs were a thing. Most people can't even keep up with some of the old hymns because they go too high. Whereas modern music is more for the modern voice and the untrained singer. One thing that Protestants could learn from Catholics today is to make the sign of the cross. There's nothing superstitious about it. Making the sign of the cross does not in any way add to your salvation or make you saved. But what is wrong with using physical gestures to express spiritual truths that you believe in? Making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit 
remembers two truths together. One, it reminds us of the Trinity and glorifies the Trinity. Two, it reminds us of the cross of Christ. What's wrong with that? Why can't we learn that? Protestants aren't going to learn, aren't going to hurt themselves by doing the sign of the cross. I think something that Catholics could learn from Protestants is a culture of studying the scriptures. I don't find it very deeply in many Catholic fellowships that they study the Bible as a thing. Fair enough, in yours, but in lots of Catholic churches, no. In lots of Catholic churches, there's no culture of studying the Bible outside of the Sunday sermon. And many, many Catholics are more likely to study the lives of the saints than they are to study the scriptures. Not all, of course there are exceptions. The Catholic Church is a huge church. But I think that one of the things that Catholics could learn from Protestants is to have a culture of studying the scriptures more. One of the things that Protestants could learn from Catholics is to study the Church Fathers. The Church Fathers are from age to age those who are masters of spirituality, masters of theology, masters of apologetics, and they speak knowledge and truth into the Church. They're like the artery of the blood system. They're like that junction that allows truth to be spread out. And they have existed through every age of the church, including today. So studying the church fathers from the earliest to the most present is something Protestants could learn from Catholics. Something Catholics could learn from Protestants. Get rid of the pews. We don't need them. They're not necessary. They're an old-fashioned and cumbersome uh, decoration and seating in the church. Get rid of them, replace them with proper chairs for crying out loud. We're not living in the 1800s. If you get rid of your pews, you'll be able to do lots more in your sanctuary and use that space in more diverse ways within the context of worship. A thing that um, Protestants could learn, sorry, that Catholics could learn from Protestants in addition is to have a more flexible parish life. One of the great strengths of the Protestant movement is that they will change things up more easily to meet the challenges that are in front of them, especially if they have a good leader. Lots of Catholic parishes don't have flexibility, they have rigidity. Now there's some goodness to rigidity. I'm not saying it's all bad, but the best swords bend. Swords that don't bend break. And it is important for the parish life to be moldable, to change, to suit the challenges that are being faced by those in the parish. A final thing that I think Protestants could learn from Catholics, and that is to venerate and to honor the apostles and Our Lady Mary. Now, I want to be clear. I am not saying pray to them. I'm not talking about the communion of saints. I'm just saying honor them, honor all 12 apostles, not just the four evangelists. Honor all 12 of the apostles in your spiritual life because the church was built on the apostles. And in too many Protestant churches, I see Mary's honor denigrated by Protestants who are afraid to honor her memory, afraid to honor her person, because they fear that to do so would be to become Catholic. The Bible says that Mary is blessed in every age. That means she is blessed now.
amongst women. Honour her and do not truck with those that denigrate or speak ill of her or do not pay her the highest respect or the highest compliments. She who our Lord said to the, the, the disciple that he loved that she is now your mother, you are now her son and from that day she went to live with him in his household. I hope you might find that talk useful. Any questions before I move on to my next topic?